and welcome to my channel. I am Rose Musen and we are once again going to share a studio vlog, even though it is going to be a bit all over the place. Uh, what you can expect in this video is that, let me see, it's kind of hard to remember all the things I have done in a week. I should start writing it down. First of all, we are going to, as in many other videos, going to pack some very lovely orders. I can, I, it's just, I'm so happy you keep ordering for me. I just never ever hoped to be in this situation that I am in right now. Then we're going to talk a bit about being bored. And after that, I'm going to be working on a project where I make an inspo book with a lot of pictures that will help me be or feel inspired. Then I had a day like today where I really just don't feel like doing anything, but at the same time, I do want to do something. So I ended up trying out Notion. You know, I love planning. So I thought, let's give it a try. I tried to wing it. Did not go very well, but uh, I hope you will find it somewhat entertaining anyway. And then we are going to have a very short period where we are going to talk about getting the COVID vaccine because I just got my first shot and that was a very interesting experience. So you will hear about that as well. So that was the wrap up for what you can expect. And therefore it's just time to start this vlog. Hello my blooming souls, it is currently Tuesday and uh, I have just announced my shop update. Um, so that means I have some orders to pack today and uh, I just thought we could do that. Um, I'm just going to eardrop because I'm just really looking forward to a package because I'm finally going to get my parasol out to my balcony um, I have been looking for it for some time. But now we found the right one. It is green because that's just the color of this apartment beside uh, gray. So I'm very excited to receive that. Um, and I'm also going to talk with my mom and help her with some podcasts. So a lot is going to happen uh, today. So uh, I think it's just time to get started packing those orders so we can hopefully get them out today. That would be nice. And hopefully also receive the parasol. Okay, let's pack. Ugh. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's pack. Bitter, 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 
Hello, my blooming soul. So it's now much later. I did a good chunk of time on just being bored. Not because I really like being bored, but at the same time, in the beginning, it was very something that I was afraid of. You know, it's like, oh, being bored is something that we need to avoid. Um, you know, a very negative thing. Um, but I've just found that sometimes. I feel very overwhelmed and tired because I have been working hard. I have been using my brain. I feel, as I said, very overwhelmed. Um, and in those times, I'm like, well, what should I do? Should I watch a movie? No, I want to, don't want to do that. Or should I do this creative thing? Oh, no, I won't. don't want to do that. Like everything I think of, I don't want to do that. So I have kind of found that that is a signal from my body <clears throat> that it really just needs to do nothing. So I do that. I, I sit in the sofa or lay in the bed or whatever and I just do nothing. I just sit there and do nothing. Maybe look outside the window if it's pretty or something. Um, and it actually seems pretty nice when I accept that that is what I need. And it's not for very long because it's it's not, how should I explain this? I just, I sit there for like three minutes or so. Sometimes I fall asleep, I must say. <laughs> but otherwise I just sit there for three minutes being bored and then I suddenly get the burst to start doing something. Um, and it just feels really nice, um, sometimes even longer, or it's just like when I allow myself to be bored and I'm in that state where I tell myself I don't want to do anything, I can slowly then hear a little voice inside of my head sneaking up, telling me what could actually be nice, even though I am tired. Speaking of boring, I don't know if that was a very boring talk I just had with you. If that's the case, I'm sorry, but I just had to get it out there and I hope it made sense in some way. Anyway, I have also decided to talk with you because I just wanted to start a little creative project of mine this evening, as always. I, sometimes I am afraid that I will just someday run out of ideas and projects I want to do, but at the same time, there's just new projects all the time, so in the end, I cannot see how that should ever happen. Anyway, back to this evening's creative project, and that is going to be about uh, finding inspiration. Because, you know, I have my sketchbook, but sometimes I do not always want to sketch it out. I just want it as a picture. I don't want it in my phone. I just want... You know, kind of a nice magazine I can just go through that is the most important inspiration for me. And also, this is the way I think I keep getting new ideas. It's because I keep seeking inspiration. When I'm tired, when I don't feel like working, it's the time I sit down, I sometimes be bored, and then I seek out stuff where I can just enjoy it and slowly see the magical things about life. And then suddenly get the burst of energy and motivation to keep working anyway. Even though I sometimes really truly believe that this is the end. I will no more, no longer have any energy to do anything at all. But then I heal and I realize that's not the case. So that's a good thing to experience over time again and again. Anyway, before I talk you to death, let me just show you the project I am talking about. <laughs> So here we have one of my mini notebooks. Um, this has been on a journey in many different things, mostly just writing very different types of ideas down. Uh, also a blank page um, for some reason. But just to show you, this is like, I, I have no idea what is going on. Um, notebooks, I thought it would be still very nice to use some of the last pages for inspiration. And for me, specific product inspiration. So these are all pictures I have found online and just put them all together in different pages or a four 
uh, papers on A4 papers and there is three in total for now. I was like, there's not a lot, but now that I look at it, it's very, <laughs> very much. But um, anyway, all the products I find inspiring, mostly products I haven't been able to do yet. So it's like a guidance. So for example, let's say we have here a nice packaging and it's not again because I want to copy this. Never ever copy. Feel it in your heart. If you're doing something, ask yourself, do I feel like I have copied this person? If you feel guilty, if you are getting nervous thinking about publishing what you've done, it's too similar. If you think it's too, it's okay, you can see it's your style or you have made a big enough uh, change so it doesn't look like the total thing, then you can post it anyway. So here is just to give me a guidance when I, you know, when you need to do something, especially when you need to do something you haven't tried before and you're trying to figure out, well, what do I like or what kind of direction should I go in? This is what I like to have collected so I can look. So for example, for packaging saying, oh, well, I really like this. This looks so cute. So I would love to go in a direction like this, just with my designs and see how simple or how detailed is it. So that was just a little example out of many projects I can use as guidance. Um, so now I think I will just stop saying too much more about this uh, i think hopefully you get the concept so i'm just going to cut all of these many different uh, pictures out and then maybe put them into categories writing little notes whatever i feel like is needed so let me just do that and then i will get back to you Haha, <laughs> so I'm now finally done. It took like many hours, but I also took around half an hour break. So that really doesn't count, does it? Anyway, I'm now done. And I think what's very important is to remember that this is for inspiration. This is, or, you know, because this could be anything. This doesn't have to be products. This can be whatever inspires you or that you just feel like make life seems more exciting this could be countries you want to travel to or furniture or movies to watch or anything anything that would make life seem more interesting to you and just instead what i'm trying really to say is i could look at this compare myself feeling awful and not inspired at all but instead i'm seeing this as possibilities for me as well so for example here is just different ideas to how you can make the edges around the different sticker sheets that I'm looking very much forward to because we are so close to the goal of being able to buy a sticker cutter machine. I think we are missing around 300 Danish crowners and I'm just guessing 55 US dollars maybe i think so that is very 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 close compared to the total amount i had to save up for so if anybody should be interested in buying some of my stuff stuff on my shop or just donate some money on ko-fi it would be a lovely help to get even closer and maybe reach this goal of buying a sticker cutter machine if you don't have the money or just don't want to I of course need to say that is okay as well, but I'm still asking for help, you know. I need to I need to remember my own needs and dreams as well. I still feel like I'm 
trying to pressure you to <laughs> use money on me. I'm really not. I really want you to feel okay if you cannot help me with this. I want you to know you're still a valuable human because I have so many creators I would like to buy from, but I just I just don't have the money right now because I'm just working so hard for my own dream. And I'm really, really trying not to make myself feel selfish about it because I have already and still am supporting a lot of other people but it does not always have to be through money. But now it is once again very late and I should really go to bed. So uh, that's my plan for now. And uh, hopefully it will be sunny tomorrow because we did get the parasol today and it is standing on the balcony. But I just really wanted to show it off on a sunny day so I could like check how good it actually works. So let's all hope for a sunny day tomorrow. Hello everyone, so today actually started out as a very good day, even though it has been very grey and rainy all day long. And I don't know if it is the weather or it's just one of those days, but I just kind of feel more and more sad and really not in a good mood in the end. Um, I'm still not feeling super motivated to do anything. And then I thought, well, I really wanted to try Notion out because I never thought I would, was going to say this, but I just really don't feel like doing bullet journal. So I thought maybe try Notion just because, I don't know, I like organizing my life, <laughs> even though I have already done it in another way. Uh, so I just tried to sign up, but they, they say that they have sent a code to my mail, but there's just nothing. I even looked in the spam. There's nothing. I'm like, what is going on? I don't need this. Please just help me out here. Don't... So I'm not sure what is going on. Uh, and something very exciting and frightening at the same time is that um, I am one of, of Fran's Patreons and she has just made this amazing idea to have friend days where the different patrons can meet each other but it's a max of 10 people so it's pretty hard to get in there and i finally did so uh, it's about in an hour um and i just i'm so nervous and a little bit okay a lot scared i just definitely covid hasn't made it easier for me to being relaxed when meeting other people but i'm just like really crazy nervous oh hi Pearl. Pearl just woke up. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I'm just like, my stomach is, I like to do this because it just feels like it's crumbling together into a little ball. And it, it annoys me because I'm so excited, but at the same time, I just want, I really want to run away and just don't do it, but it's all going to be okay, I'm sure. <sighs> But I was just really looking forward to just try out Notion. I don't even know if it was going to be fun for you to look at. I thought maybe something fun would come out of it and we could look at it together and see if I could actually do something pretty with it. You know what? Let me just refresh, refresh this page where I'm trying to make a Notion profile because it doesn't seem like anything is going to show. What about my mobile, just to be sure. Nope. Uh, okay, I will try with my business mail, just because uh, I have no idea if that will make any difference, but let me just try because I really want to do this. Okay, maybe I'm just, oh, for some reason that mail is okay. Anyway, I just need to find the picture of myself. Okay, let me just, do all of this and then we can come back together and you can actually see what I'm doing on the screen. So right now you should be able to see what I am seeing on my computer and it seems like they are offering some templates to get started. Let's just say okay to that. Getting started. Should I look at that or should I just go with flows? 
the flows, what I'm even saying. Journal, oh, there is a section for journal. Oh, that seems fun. You know, I really like to write down, but it just seems a lot in WordPress. And I just, the reason why I don't like to journal in a book is just like the amount of papers you use in the end. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of it. So, because I can write a lot, you know, I have a lot of thoughts in here. So, um, it's, if you do it, that's totally okay. We're all different. That's just my preference. Um, even though really many recommend writing down with your hand because it, it, um, what's the word? It forces you to slow down because there is a limit to how fast you can write with your hand compared to writing on the keyboard. Anyway, let's get back to the screen. So journaling, that's nice. That's, that's definitely something I will try out for sure. Okay, let's just see what happened. Add page. What do I even want to do? I, I'm not sure. What do I want to do? I even thought about that. I, I even did not thought about that, I mean. Let's make an alternate goal list. Can we add is add icon? I don't like that. That's, oh, that's very big. Can it, can I put it, can I, what? Why does it have to be so big? Can I add an icon here? And what icon should I use? The bunny could be cute too, but a little bit weird though also i don't know what to do i i need i didn't think my challenge would be to choose an icon <laughs> okay let's just use a plant there oh that's actually not very pretty on the computer what's going on ah uh, what should i choose instead oh i could choose a duck i'm going to or this that is a chicken sorry that is a chicken but it looks like mr duck so i'm going with that but is it possible to get it like online like up here can you move sections oh what happened oh um can we no okay we're going to do it this way should we add a cover i want to make a cover yes but what should we use as picture? Not really what I'm looking for. That could be cute though. Is that what we're going for? Maybe, let me just try it. Do I have to save the image? That's a little blurry. Mm, I really want to make this look neat, but I do like the vibe. Maybe we could make special banners, but I just really wanted to, this to be fun. Whatever, it's going to be this bad one for now, because I don't want to look at it anymore or search for something anymore. Um, what's, what's going to happen if I click template? Journal, task list. Man, this is hard. I thought this was going to be easy, but at the same time, I knew people were like, you can be so overloaded with stuff. And I, that's definitely what is happening right now. Maybe this was a bad idea. Hmm, that's interesting. But not exactly what I'm looking for. Hmm, I think all I want for this is just a very standard checklist. This is not it. Nope, that was not it. Can I go back? I, re I regret. Go back, please. Nope, didn't work. You? I am so confused. A. Maybe I should just watch some kind of tutorial. Do I have to make a new one? Whatever, I'm just going to make a new one. That looks exactly the same. Just because I don't understand the other stuff. Okay, template, let's try again. And this time I want quick note, use this template. Yes, please. Oh no, did it just delete everything I just did? How's that? 
Okay, so let's try again. This section, please go away. And you should go away too. Oh, you can make lines. Again, it's so smart, I believe, if you know what you're doing, but I don't, so. <laughs> what if I want it in between? Oh, maybe I can just move it. I want an uh, heading two, must be. Mochi? Duck? Oh, that's a very teeny tiny. Oh, I said duck again, sorry. Chicken. Can I move you out here? No. Very adorable, but also very annoying. I tried. I think I'm just going to look up other stuff to know what is possible out there. Because I thought maybe I could just go with the flow and do my stuff, but it seems like it's going to be a pain in the butt. So, yeah. Just going to research, see what kind of cool stuff other people have made so I know what I can do as well or be inspired to do and then I will show you all my different pages when I am happy with them. Okay, I will talk to you later whenever it makes sense. I just wanted to talk to you because um, I'm going to get my first vaccine shot today. I know there is a debate whether or not you should take it or not, but I feel pretty sure about my um, government. Is that the word? I forgot the word for that. Anyway, I, I, I believe in the country I live in. Uh, it is built on we need to help each other. So I feel pretty safe about getting the vaccine. Um, so I'm going to do that. Even so, I am so freaking nervous. Not because I don't trust the vaccine, but because I am I'm so afraid of needles. I was as a child um, in that situation where I had to get a vaccine for children and I really didn't want to and it was handled very bad so they like hold me down while this person was putting it into my butt and um, so of course that hurt really bad I was really afraid and that has has just led to that I today every, every time I see a needle I'm just like I get so nervous and I, I feel like fainting. It's really, really bad. So it's mostly that fear I have to face once again. But I need to do it. And I asked my boyfriend if he would came come with me. So hopefully that will make me feel a little bit more calm. And then I want to, you know, tell the nurse that I am afraid of needles uh, but at the same time I did that once and then she just made it worse because you know when I have you have to put it in and normally they do it a little bit slow but when I told I was afraid of needles she just like put it in like and that hurts even more so not gonna do that I'm going to so that all concludes that I now feel like I need to say I'm afraid of needles and at the same time I need to say please don't put it in quick, do it slow even so because the other thing is not going to make it better at all. I just need to somehow get my attention on something else. So that's my situation this morning. So now that I have updated you on my life situation, I think I would just uh, watch some nice YouTube and eat some breakfast and see you all later. Hey, so I now got my first vaccine shot and um, I ended up crying when I was there. I was just so afraid and I know in my head it's very short, it's not very painful, but that just shows it's an unrealistic fear that has been growing inside of my head because I was forced to do it as a child when I did not want it to. Anyway, I ended up crying there and they were very sweet and like talking to me, asking if there's anything I needed and even like they were sitting beside me if I was going to faint and they will then assure me to catch me and all of that. So it's like 
very sweet. I did not faint, thankfully. Um, my boyfriend helped me talking to me why all this happened because I just really need to be distracted. Um, so that was a very special uh, moment today and I feel very exhausted now. One thing can be, you know, the vaccine, but mostly I just think it's because it was so emotionally overwhelming. I had to look a fear in the eye today. So now I feel very proud of myself and I hope when I have to get the second shot that I will not cry as well because, you know, as an adult, I still feel ashamed for sitting in a public room and crying, you know, it's not something that I think is fun to do. Anyway, I survived. I'm now trying to do a lot of stuff to make me think of anything than all these many things you might feel after the vaccine, like a headache and fever and all of that. I could feel that if I thought too much about it. So I just know I need to do other things. So that's why I'm now currently working on a order for somebody called Sydney. So this is your order, Sydney. And she did buy a lot of cute stuff. I assuming you're buying for friends or pen pals. I don't know, maybe you like to have twice the stuff. <laughs> This is not to shame anybody. I just really wanted to say thank you. So I will just wrap this up. Actually, I just had to print some more because I ran out of these that she wanted to buy as well. And then I just need to assemble it all into this waterproof bag. So yeah, I will just do that. And after that, my plan is to start working further on the client project with Natalia. This time we are designing a an illustration of uh, a potential bakery shop that she wants to use and there is a lot of details and I have uh, used a lot more time than I thought I would but she was so sweet asking if uh, she should pay more money because she knew it was a lot of unexpected details so thankfully it's so nice to have customers who respect the time you use on it at the same time, I am doing stuff for a very cheap price at the moment because I don't have a lot of experience with customers. So it's like my way of saying thank you to the people who trust me and choose to be the first customers of mine. I will show you the product, but only when the sketch is accepted and I'm actually done with the final illustration. Okay, you're now back to me and lovely Mr. Jock. By the way, some people think I got this made after creating Mr. Jock, but Mr. Jock is actually based on this plushie I bought from a convention many years back. Um, so now you know that. Other than that, um, I just got home from a little mini vacation. We went to a Danish island called Bonholm. And uh, it was very lovely. It's a very nice place where you can find a lot of older buildings and streets. And as many other places in Denmark, you can find a lot of green spots, which I really like. We had to go there to celebrate a family member who just finished a very important school step in Denmark, which is the step just before university. That is actually the biggest celebrated moment in Denmark when it comes to school celebration steps. Uh, so that was very nice. I had to meet a lot of new people from my boyfriend's family side. So I always get a very overwhelmed and I am most likely therefore very tired today because of that. And I actually have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of clients right now and it makes me so happy but at the same time I'm so tired so I just really don't want to today <sighs> but here I am anyway trying at least my best so uh, let's try to make it productive yet cozy but in order to do that I will have to end the vlog right here I hope it wasn't too long for you and it was somewhat entertaining you know I always hope that you are doing things that makes you feel satisfied. So um, with that, I also do hope you are staying loving and caring and that I will 
be able to see you in my next vlog. No matter if you're going to watch my next vlog or not, it is the time to start the dance party. Hey.